from what I hear, we'll be going down on, on mats two, four, and five with some consolation sprinkled in here and there just to get those caught up. We got a big one here at 125 pounds. Number one in the nation for Purdue, Matt Ramos. He's taking on high school phenom Marcus Blaze. Blaze in the red, single red ankle bands. Ramos in the green ankle band. Ramos, known best for shocking the world back in March when he was able to defeat three-time NCAA champion Spencer Lee in the semifinals by fall. Ramos then went on to finish second to Pat Glory at 125 pounds. He's a junior, number one in the country at 125 pounds. Well, Blaze, currently number three in the country down in high school at 126 pounds. Just a junior. If you guys missed it back in the quarterfinals, it was a one versus three. Jax Forrest and Marcus Blaze squared off. Two high schoolers in the quarterfinals to get their shot here at number one. And it was Blaze that was able to get a late takedown to near fall. Come up clutch, win that one nine to four. You see Blaze getting his hands on Ramos. Blaze. I called that match. I recommend if you miss it, go back and check it. This quarterfinal from Forrest and Blaze. Blaze moves really well. Side to side, able to get to his angles. So very physical in the hand fight. While Ramos, level changes, double legs. Good counter wrestler as well. Here comes a double leg. Blaze with the re-attack. Able to pull him up. We're scoreless here with 120 to go in the first. Ramos had a bit of a scare this morning in first match of the tournament against Vinny Kilkery of Ohio State. He's able to get a late takedown to win that one five to zero, but since then he's been dominant. Technical, two technical falls and a 12-3 major decision over Tristan Lujan in the quarterfinals. Blaze outside of his quarterfinal with Forrest. He's been dominant. Major decision, technical fall, nine to four decisions I mentioned in the quarters to get here, get his crack at the number one guy in the country up in the NCAA. Plays world champion, U17 world champion this past summer. I believe that was at 55 kilos. Ramos in his own right, he was a 2018 cadet world champion. Ramos gets it on a high crotch. Chest lock here for Blaze rolling him through. Ramos sticking with it though, looking to cut to the double. Blaze looking to sit that corner. He's pinching that knee, blocking the arm from cutting double. Ramos, just 10 seconds to go. Blaze squeezing hard on this chest wrap. Looking to roll him through once again. Short time here. Great defense there by Blaze, able to fight that one off. We end the first period scoreless. Blaze signaling might be some blood. He also signaled he's going to go down when we return here. Blaze wiping some blood off real quick and believe he will be going underneath to start the second period. Ramos pretty tough in the top position, throws in leg ride. Not known Blaze to have any bottom deficiencies, but there is a bit of a difference between the high school and college level when it comes to mat wrestling. So we'll see if Blaze is able to pick up his escape here. Ramos gets set. Start of the second. Blaze up tripod. Now trapping the ankle was Ramos, but Blaze back up to his feet. Ramos gonna give him the escaped. Blaze takes the one to zero lead. Ramos is corner. The Purdue coach is telling him start using his fakes more, get Blaze to bite on these. Wow, the Perrysburg coaches in Blaze's corner told him don't fall asleep. 
wanting to keep his feet and his hands moving. 110 to go here in the second period. A snap for Blaze. See Ramos picking up these level changes now. No, 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 the high crotch. Nice job by Blaze feeding them hips, able to break the lock. Snap there for Blaze, looking to get to a corner. In the circle left off that snap. It's getting Ramos to react on these. Now back to this high crotch once again as Ramos, a star warning on Blaze. Back in a similar position from the end of the first period. Blocking that arm from cutting off. Now looking to walk in the crotch as Blaze. Feeding him the hips. Sort of a split position here. He's also locked in the crotch. Ramos looking a little indifferent on the finish here. And we're going to get a stalemate. 27 seconds to go in the second. Short time here. We'll see if either guy commits to an attack here. Shot here for Blaze. Attempted to go dump there. Now, one's blade and the other for Blaze. They're going to call action there as Ramos shoots him out of bounds. Purdue coach is not happy with that. They wanted that second star warning. Just four seconds to go here. It'll be Ramos' choice to start the third. Blaze just currently with 10 seconds, of, or excuse me, Ramos with 10 seconds of riding time. He's going to go down. Blaze going to get set on top here on the right side. Shakes the arms out. Here we go. A little elevator leg back there for Ramos. Now, chop, tight waist chop here for Blaze. Ramos able to switch his hips, get to his fleet. Blaze is going to give him the escape. We're tied at one riding time. Currently not a factor. Blaze has two seconds currently on the clock. Keep in mind, Blaze does have that star warning, so he's got to stay engaged here. So he moves Ramos over towards the edge. Ramos looking to circle in. You gotta believe Ramos probably looking for these level changes. Get back to that high crotch. He's already been on twice. Hasn't been able to find his way to a finish though. Blaze showing a lot of prowess in his shot defense. Haven't seen Blaze get in too deep. Another shot there for Ramos. Blaze looking for the reattack. Blaze has got Ramos heels towards the edge. Good little throw by there was Ramos. I like the snap by Blaze. He goes to like a little bit of a level change to the right and then snaps left. Now looking to circle back to the right side. Just 40 to go here. We're tied at one. Looking to go to that left side once again was Blaze. Ramos has been able to get that right foot back. Ramos throwing these level changes. Look, looking for Blaze to reach. See if either guy tries to steal this one late. Otherwise, we'll add it to sudden victory. Just 10 seconds to go. That's going to do it for the third period. We're headed to sudden victory. Going to clear the ride in time. Two minutes on the clock here. First score wins. Now we will go to 30 second ride out periods where ride in time does become a factor then if we get there. First score wins here though. Two minutes on the clock. Marcus Blaze looking to pick up another big win. This one. Could be possibly over the number one guy in the NCAA at 125 pounds as he's moving forward, picking up his attacks. Plays getting his feet moving, getting Ramos to bite on these level changes. We're gonna go left again now, it's controlling the armpits was Blaze. Ramos circles back center. Perrysburg coach is really telling Blaze to stay engaged here and not to fall asleep with his. Stance, another shot here for Ramos. Ramos moving him over towards the edge. Blaze has got to be careful. He does have a star warning, another warning here. 
would end the match. Back to the single leg. Switches his head to the outside. High crotch. Ramos lifting. Blaze locked in the cro excuse me, locked in the belly. Tension. Blaze blocking that arm. Ramos looking right at his coaches. Now Ramos scoops the heel. Looking to hook. Blaze locked in the crotch. Rolls him through. Now going far ankle. We're, roll we're rolling. Ramos got to be careful with their knees here. Leg pass here. Both guys are passing. Ramos comes back into him. Blaze able to get his leg back up. 35 to go. No change. Blaze controlling the front headlock here. Ramos clears. High crotch here for Blaze. He's got this up. Looking to go to the far ankle. He's got the takedown. That's three points. Marcus Blaze. What a guy. Takes out Jax Forrest, number one in the country last round. Now takes out the number one guy in the NCAA at 125 pounds. And Marcus Blaze, he's going to take this one four to one in sudden 